you for tuning in to the Realities Podcast. Realities Podcast is a blog term podcast about the realities of life, what's trending, being a mom and a wife, family, career, and everything in between. I hope you enjoy this next episode, but please make sure that you follow us on Instagram at Realities, and that is R A I A L I T I E S. Let us know what you think about this next episode. Enjoy. Hey, you guys. Welcome, welcome. We are back. Hey. Hey, Bree. Hey, Greg. <laughs> so we are yeah, we back. We are back. Um, this week we are still talking all things black history, all things about the culture. Um, and we're playing our game like we did started off the month with. And so this week we are playing Black Card Revoked. And we're playing the second edition of that. So hopefully you guys join in with us and play the game. Uh, what Greg say? Oh, he's talking to you, G. Life, man. <laughs> <laughs> so we gonna play the game and we'll do it like we've been doing it I guess how we um everybody just interacted with us with the game as you see G is not with me I'm trying to switch my my account real quick it's too icy out here Greg I wasn't trying to be sliding on the ice I don't ice <laughs> not all the way out here <laughs> Definitely not all the way out here now. A lot of skating. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Hey. Uh, all right, so while, oh, quick. Oh, no, I, put, I was about to say so hi while, to Darius. Um, Ray is, oh, uh, hi, Darius. While Ray is getting the game together. <laughs> no, I'm so ready. I, is, I, I just need, go ahead. Oh. I just need, I, go ahead. I'm trying to get my wife to I'm sorry, y'all. I got to start with my eyes. We have one more week of Black History, and next week um, we have another king. So it, the, the weather depends on how we do this game, but as always, continue to stay tuned in and make sure that you guys are interacting and playing with us because it makes it more exciting. It does. It really does. So. Before we start, I posted something, um, well, we posted something earlier, and I actually didn't know. So the game Phase 10, did you know that was by, that was by a, um, created by a Black guy? No, I saw that just a few minutes ago when it was showing up, I was trying to log in. I was like, dang. Yeah. But, that would be interesting to see how it would be. And that's some very good factual information. We, that should have definitely been a staple in the household. Yes, indeed. I'm gonna say I have I have my phase ten cards, and you could tell we play. But you could tell we play them because I don't even have a box. (laughs) I don't have a box anymore. So, and my mom, my mom actually turned us on. Yes, my mom actually turned us on to these. I didn't know anything about um this game at all. I'm really wondering why we just, they just give us no recognition. Oh, no. Because they can't, we need to see it. I mean, it just continues to become more evident as the days and the weeks and years go on. Right. Because that's, what'd you say? It was, what, 87? Uh, I think it was. I think it was 87. Yeah, 87 or 82. One of the two. That's correct. Yeah, one of the two. But yeah, so let's see. Let's get started. I'm trying to see who's on here. I'm I'm on both my phone and um Me too. I'm on both. So bear with me. But just trying to see who's on here. I know my man Greg on here. Who <laughs> went in doubt? Greg's here. So 
Uh, Greg said, oh no, old as hell. This game, oh yeah, it's a game that lasts hours. Okay. Yes, indeed. Yeah, if you cheating like you was cheating with the urban um game, I saw. Oh, don't do that! Don't do, don't do that! Who was cheating? You were cheating. <laughs> so, last week yeah. we talked to um Harris and Kona White, husband and wife. They created the Urban Legend series, and they wrote a book. And then they made a game and they're going to continue with the series. It'll be a series. So G just got her game recently. I had mine and played it before, but G just got her game. And I think she cheated. Don't be cheating, Brie, out of the game, G. No, no, no. No, I didn't cheat. I'm not so. Don't be cheating. Don't really fun it was really really fun so let's get started with our black card revoke and see if our black card will be revoked mine's already been revoked so. well mine was revoked for your birthday great great out no your birthday was the last the first the first uh february okay oh yeah what did we play? Um, yeah, because. Hey. Oh, it was culture tags. Culture tags. Yeah, it was culture tags. Hey, Marcus. Hi, Marcus. <laughs> Marcus is uh, half underscore stream. And I'll call you out, Marcus, since you're joining us for the first time. Um, Marcus is my cousin, and he and a friend started a podcast as well. And so we'll probably try to get them on, see what they're talking about later on. Oh, exciting. Yeah. Hi, Paris. <laughs> Hi, Paris and Kona. Y'all ready to play a game with us? We can't have nobody join in because it's two of us already. IG doesn't allow us to be amazing with having various people, but yeah. So let's get started. Um, so G, we ju you just want me to read it and then we'll figure out what everybody's answer is. Yeah. Okay, we can do that. Cause, cause you can't, cause if you show us, it's be backwards, right? Yeah, but it's not a, I don't think it's a right or wrong answer. They give you options. Okay. So I can just, okay. let's just okay. see. Let's see how we do. So the first right. question is a category from college. And it says, what did you spend your first college refund check on? A, a new outfit, B, a car, C, going to parties, or D, paying your college loans? Oh, I got my refund check now. I'm paying back for that refund check because you get it. And <laughs> if you get a refund from a loan, you still owe it. <laughs> no, you know what? I'm, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't, my daddy paid pay down my refund check. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, Lord. I'm trying to think. Oh. Yeah, I'm about to say, I, I had student loans for my, for my, um, graduate studies, but Greg, Greg you bought a, a new outfit, a car, 
and, and to go to the party. He, a new outfit, a car, and to go to the party. And nobody pay off their student loans with the refund. Give it back. I didn't. I'm just saying. No, nah, man. Great, great, great way. Where you go, Greg? Fairmont Heights, Parkdale. He ain't pay back no damn student loans. He said, "Shut the." <laughs> he said, "Not all, not at the same time." <laughs> okay, well, I guess my answer is out of the three, I guess Damn. I would say a new outfit. I bet you did. Oh, that ain't eighty k. That's it. Is that after interest? Because goddamn, once they hit, interest is eighty k. If I knew then what I know now, I wouldn't have did it. I can tell you that much. You can make 80K sliding down the pole some damn way. <laughs> I could have made that in the night. No, he said only like 10,000. He said it the other night he was on. When he was on with, uh, what's, home, what's his name? Anderson Cooper. Not shit for none of it. Well, clearly, uh, Stunt and Dito ain't going to help him. He's still going to owe 70 more. <laughs> and be like, as long as we owe you, you'll never be broke. <laughs> That's what my heart is All right, let's keep going. Who's your favorite black cartoon character? So they give you some options. They say Riley from the Boondocks, Tiana from Princess and the Frog, Penny from the Proud Family, or Fat Albert. We so we what? I watch. No, I mean they it came the out. Yeah, but we it still was around. What? <laughs> he said Terrence be blowing up everything but Sally May. <laughs> oh nobody. That's what they need to do. Don't Okay, that that's what that's what Paris. That's what Paris said. Fat Albert and Riley is what uh, Greg said. Okay. <laughs> Read his book and you'll know why Paris likes the damn boondock. Lord. Okay. Can't leave the baby kids. I know. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the baby kids. Because we were, Marcus, Marcus. You did that on purpose because you know our asses was the baby kids. That's why <laughs> my mom used to call us the baby kids. Hey, Dad. <laughs> He's still the baby kids. All right. So let's see. All right, let's move on. So for the, well, that was the only one that additionally joined us, but we're doing, um, what is this game called? Black Harvey vote. Black and so Harvey we're vote. asking the question and everyone is just participating. That's what we're doing tonight. I know, Marcus, we were the baby kids. Lord have mercy. Look at us now. Like, no. <laughs> like look at us now. Some of us. <laughs> Most of us. Most of us. Most of us. Okay. Let's see. I don't want to do that one. Who's the soulful singer that cannot dance? Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey. <laughs> okay. She's on there. <laughs> Mariah Carey? Mariah Carey? I don't think so. No. Mm -mm. Mariah ain't black. Maxwell, I've never seen Maxwell dance. He just never has on no shoes. How you gonna put Rihanna on here? Don't do that to my boo. She... Why are you doing that to her? Oh, she is it. Who, Mariah Carey? He said I Diddy. So, yeah. He said Diddy. Now, that is correct. Diddy cannot oh, dance. Oh, 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 he flashed back to the, um, what was that video with Blake and that uh, silver suit? Silver suit. These calls are disrespectful. <laughs> I just read the next one. Oh. Okay. Okay, no. 
Who has the worst edges? <laughs> Now that she don't have any more. Although they have Stevie Wonder, <laughs> Naomi Campbell, Tamar, and LeBron. Hi, Rodney. Hi, Rodney. Naomi Campbell, Tamar, and LeBron. And Stevie Wonder. <laughs> I'm not doing this today. Look what Greg said, Mace. <laughs> Don't wait. He said, "Mace." What about Mace? Don't do that, Mace. Mace. I'm about to say because Mace is my boo now. I mean, he didn't switch over and left for a second, but that used to be my boo. Why Greg said Queen James? So there's a tie. It's between Stevie. Who was that on? Stevie, Tamar, and LeBron. LeBron or Naomi Campbell. Now, I I I me either. I about to say she always have a weave. LeBron definitely yeah. don't have no um. It, it's, that was hard. That's a that's a free way to tie right there. Rodney said LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Queen yeah. James though, y'all dirty. <laughs> Marcus said Keisha Cole. Isn't she lovely? Don't do it. They a combination. We got the combos. (laughs) (laughs) You know what? Y'all disrespect. (laughs) Okay, let's see. Let's move on. What? Oh, the, the car is all mixed up, so I'm going to just go with it. Okay. What's most liable? Oh, yeah. What's most liable to get you cussed out at the cookout? Rodney and Marcus. It doesn't mean a Cooper cookout, okay? Um, yeah, that's the first thing to mess up the potato salad. No, renege during spades. Don't bring anything. Walk in and not speak. You walk in my house and not speak. Greg, what the hell? He said, you know, he really not. Oh, no. My salad. So, I, so, you know, I always am on here and I don't eat until after. I'm going to eat my salad so bad. This joint look good. Not bringing shit. Yep. Greg said, not bringing shit and bring and taking shit. Yep. Oh, my God. Yep, Marcus said the first person grabbing a plate ain't bring shit. Yep. That's always how it is. It's always the first person in line. Oh, messing up the deviled eggs. See, at our cookout, it's only one person that can make them. And if anyone else make them, Rodney and Marcus, y'all already know. If anyone else makes the eggs, nobody eats it. I'm sorry, family, if y'all end up listening back, but if my mama don't make the eggs, I, nobody eats the eggs. Somebody at, at an event that I was at with the Cooper made some eggs. Mm-hmm. And they sat there. Or they might have made it into somewhere else. They put it in a smash. <laughs> or, or if you were a little intoxicated during eggs. Kevin. Kevin don't listen, so I can talk about Kevin. Kevin probably would have ate the eggs. That nobody eats because he's that's just okay. Oh, she did it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> what might mama tell you before going in any store? Don't touch, shit. don't touch nothing, don't ask for nothing, don't look at nothing. I know that's right. <laughs> No, nah, man. I'm telling you, we we was we was COVID precautionary before COVID. You ain't coming to the cookout and making your plate, and then be, and especially if you start stirring in the beans or if you start stirring something up, oh, oh your ass is in trouble. Rhonda, don't play that, and then don't dig from the middle of the pan. Start from the edge and go back. 
and work your way to the back. But yeah, yeah that is true. At our cookouts, they they will serve you. Yeah. The <laughs> Greg said, "My wife." He said, "His white mother told him the same thing. Don't ask for shit. Don't touch shit. And don't look at shit." So hold on, Greg. Did your white mama tell you touch it? Cause you tried her hand. Did she back you? Did she back you? But see, Greg don't have. Greg didn't have like a real like a white white mother. Greg grew up in Landover, man. He and his mama wasn't really white. We ain't got no white people in Landover. Except for Greg. I'm sorry, I had to eat my food. Exactly. I just thought Greg was light skinned. He don't his black car and I revoke. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, this, I don't like this one because they don't have. <laughs> Popped in the store, ass whooping at home. Yep. Exactly. And you think she forgot. You get all the way home, and like, didn't I tell your mother not to touch that? Got that. Like, wait a minute. That was two hours ago. We went to three stores. My mama used to make me go through mama because I'd be going to get my own switch to put you outside. So you want me to come back? Oh no, mom, we didn't we didn't we didn't go outside to get anything. It was whatever she looked at. You better duck. Cause that's it. Oh, no. You better duck. Shoes, a hanger. Anything. And the father's got it too. On the dad's got it too. I'm telling you, my, my grandmother used to tear somebody ass up. They somebody got an iron that was hot. Um what Kevin did? Kevin got hit in the face with the broom. I forgot what my dad, what, what did she do to him? She did something to him. One of them, they poured yeah, lye the in their, in their, they threw lye at them and burned his face. Now who had, why they had lye? I don't know. But like the lie in the perm, someone had it for some reason. <laughs> Marcus said, "Low key, somebody on this chat used to cry his way out of everything." <laughs> sure did. <laughs> when, he <was> a <laughs> when he was a toddler, a little boy. How about that? All right. So, who was the best duo on television? I don't like these people they have on here: Keenan and Kale, Tia and Tamara, Malcolm and Eddie, or George and Wheezy. I was going to on TV. I was gonna say Gina and Pam, man. Y'all talking about That's right? Gina and the, Gina and Pam. <laughs> what Hot Wheels track? TV Hot remote Wheels belt, track. hands, feet. Oh, that's what you got hit with, Greg. Yeah. Oh, I see you, Daria. See, we on the same page here, but we didn't say Martin and Gina. We said Pam and we Gina. Didn't say Martin and Gina. Yes. Okay, I can go with Cliff and Claire. Yes, oh, Cliff. I can you go with them. It always it's on um what's the little TV one? One of those little networks. Yeah, well, I they took it yeah they did. No, I'm sorry. I've seen I it. I'm not. I watch. I watch all the old black shows. So. Tia Tamara. I don't stop listening to R. Kelly either, though. All right. I'm one of those people. <laughs> Sorry. I, I listen to R. Kelly. I mean. Yeah, I mean, hey. I'm stepping the name of them. I'm just not going to I should. I stepped it. It's a whole lot of R. Kelly's out here. So I don't even. They just ain't get caught. I don't even want to hear. But all of them still in there bumping and grinding. They don't see nothing wrong with a little bump and grind. Exactly. They still stepping exactly. in the name of love. They'll listen to all his Christmas music on Christmas. To each his own. He ain't did nothing to me, just like Chris Brown still my boo. He ain't hit Rihanna. And Rihanna my boo. Yeah, yeah. They got in the argument. She hit him first. He hit her back. You already know how it, how it works. She hit, she punched, she punched that bad one. <laughs> he punched her ass back. That's what the hell happened. Okay? That's what happened. 
Yeah, that's what my mother told my brothers. If she if she big enough to hit you, she her ass big enough to hit back. Exactly. Right. Yep, they ain't get caught yet. Hi. Oh wait, what I just do? Oh, all right. Okay, it'd be easy if I look on my phone because I'm all over the place. It's delayed. Yeah, so when I look at, I'm like, wait. But then it caught up. Okay. What happened to the women's movement? <laughs> what movement? You better move when somebody's throwing a punch. That's the women's movement. But no, the, the movement is don't hit nobody if you don't want your ass to get hit back. I mean, I'm not gonna we're not condoling violence. To be clear, okay. We're not condoling condoling violence at all. However, you should don't don't throw it, don't throw them bows if you ain't ready to catch them back. <laughs> Who shot Megan? Why did she just follow That is the good question. Megan? Maybe she had no, no money. Hi, Tia. I don't know. You said ain't nobody shoot Meg. I, that's how I feel. I'm like, I don't know. It was her toe, though. She was like, she was like the lady off of Mark. Wasn't it? No, that wasn't my. What's the movie? What's the black movie? Don't ju don't judge me, y'all. Don't please don't revoke my black heart. Was it Boomerang? Was it Boomerang? No, it wasn't Harlem Nights. Nights. Okay. He said he's going to popcorn and L. Good luck, Paris. <laughs> he said he'd be back. He's gonna go popcorn since we said. <laughs> Kona ain't Kona from Philly. You don't want Popper. <laughs> I mean Jersey. She's from Jersey. You don't want Popper. Mm -mm. Go ahead, go ahead and pop her and then let us know what happened. <laughs> he said he's gonna tell her we said it's okay. <laughs> we said what we said was if we are big enough to hit, we should be big enough to get hit back. That's all I'm saying. Moving on. Oh my goodness. I ain't I ain't on I don't know about Megan Thee Stallion. Okay. So what's the term for cutting off relaxed hair? To only to leave your natural hair. So what's the term for cutting relaxed hair chop. off? The big chop. You should have saw if some the of these guys chop. knew that. So what do y'all guys think about natural versus uh Permed hair or relaxed hair. Sorry. How do you Sorry. feel about natural or relaxed hair? Yeah. What do you think? What you think, Greg? What you think, Paris? What do y'all think about the natural versus relaxed movement that we're going with over here? You, you're right, Greg. You are so right. Sure. Just walk away. <laughs> she said smile divorce. And smile. <laughs> wait, wait, what's, what's going to make you? Right, what's gonna make you divorce Paris now? Hold on now. <laughs> okay, he said he preferred natural, relax is cool though. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, since most of us are going that direction. Mm -hmm. It's not healthier. It's not too many women out here that still relax the India. I mean it's some, but it's not a lot. But it's always. Well, let me tell you this: it's, a lot of people, a lot of women that I, a lot of women I know that relax their hair, relax it because they're head nappy. I would just say <laughs> they don't have that good grain. They don't have no good grain, so they know if they let that, if they go through, you go through an ugly phase. <laughs> he says it's a trap. It's not. A it's not, not I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't relax my hair. G doesn't relax her hair. People swear I relax my hair. I just got some good brain in my family now. That's all it is. What? I got some good. You, uh, I, you I have can, a. You can rock. No, my Angela Davis be looking like Angela Bassett. Hang on. <laughs> what the hell I be looking like? <laughs> I'm a whole mess. A whole mess. Okay, let's see. So, y'all. Oh, he said the head topic is a trap. Okay. We ain't gonna trap y'all. 
question. Most women cut their hair after the breakup. She, I ain't cutting my hair. I cut, I, I cut his clothes up, but I ain't cutting my hair now. Yeah. We don't relax it, but we color it. Well, I I, I did hear someone say that they cut their hair. It's like a start over or whatever. I'm like, did he did he help you with your hair? Like, I don't understand the logic. What did he do for your hair? What does what does he and your hair have to do with each other? So, oh, to say a fresh start. So then climb back in the womb and come back out. Stop by walking out the door. I, I'm not about to come down. That's like a guy like, I'm getting rid of all my sneakers. I'm getting rid of all my clothes because I broke up with Shorty. What? Sir, you better keep them sneakers she bought. <laughs> <laughs> you better use them to keep walking out of the house. That's what you're trying to put your mama in. Don't exactly. buy nobody's shoes and you keep walking sheep. Hmm. Don't want to walk out your house. All right, I got a question. It's food related. Yes, that people go to win. Um, <laughs> and I'm asking about something that I'm not eating for this whole month. But who has the better biscuit? Popeye's, Red Lobster, KFC. They have churches on here, but we don't have no churches around here. So Popeye's, Red Lobster, KFC. What's another one? Um, Biscuits. Biscuits. If I had to say it's biscuits, I'm gonna say lobster. red, red lobster. Cause red lobster. No, who got the honey, the honey biscuits? I'm gonna say Pillsbury. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Pillsbury in a little popping thing. <laughs> Man, and I, I let me tell you though, if I still do go to that Popeyes though, I'm not even gonna lie. Like when I, I don't go to Popeyes often, maybe twice out of the year, but I do go to the one on Swan Road. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. Or or I go all the way down by my grandmother's house. I go to the one in Kit Lane because this is five after. Yep. The one over there, the one in Clinton, they take too long. Line be too long. That's not fair. But I'm telling you, the one on Swan Road, I don't know what they be mixing in that batter. That thing be on point. <laughs> Bojangles? Y'all like Bojangles? Who got Burberry biscuits? What you talking about? It's something called Burberry biscuits? What they say? Burberry? You know what Swan Road at? It's across from the uh, Census Barrel on Suitland Road. It's across from who? The Census Barrel on Suitland Road. Suitland, yeah, Suitland Road. Ain't that Suitland? Yeah, that's not Suitland Road. What's that? You know where the Census, Census Bureau, Bureau right across the street? Like, you can walk. Mm-hmm. It's called the horseshoe. Oh, yeah. There's only one way in and one way out. Those ain't the neighborhoods you want to live in. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's a, oh, yeah. It was somebody, apparently somebody from Hill family. I put the ball over there for some hour. Look, Marcus just said where he was raised. <laughs> I'm Rona used to live over there. I'm Rona used to live over there in the horseshoe. Oh, yeah, Silver Hill. I kept saying, um, Suitland, Silver Hill to Swan. Hi, Josh. That she used to. She don't live over there now. She no, moved. The, the over there. Yeah, Papa was over there. I, let me see. The last, probably last year. Yeah, last year I went. Cause I went through the drive-through and got some chicken and went to my mama house. I went all the way over there to get chicken. And then went to my mama house all the way down there. No, I don't know where the Papa was at. Hi, Shonda. Hi, Shonda. Where the papa's at? Oh, by, my mom, by my mom's house. 
Ain't no problem. Yeah, I was thinking of her who oh. she was No, I mean, you got to get out the car. Out the car. No, I don't be yeah, getting out the car. And a lot of people Yeah, you can't get out the car now. It's COVID and you in the hood. It's two, two F-ups right there. <laughs> Somebody going to steal your chicken. As long as I've been staying that line, I'm fighting over that chicken. Exactly. They might ride with me in the car for me to drop them off. Bojangles? Bojangles, I never, I never had it, but my mom and my sister, my mom and she just said that they had chicken and it tastes like they fried it in sausage grease. So I never ate, I've never, I've never, oh never, 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 ever. All right. So let's. Well, yeah, Greg, who's still in? Greg, you in Florida still? I think. Greg probably ain't got no damn snow down there. He probably just chilling under a palm tree and shit right now. We up here freezing. <laughs> uh, he said he had something in his cup. Okay, that's nasty. All right, I got another question. Where might you go after church? Red Lobster, Sunday School, the buffet, or Grandma House? For those of y'all that go to church. Grandma House was the buffet. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And see that this for those traditional families because we weren't traditional. So they sent the kids to church so they could do their thing. <laughs> Golden Corral, yuck. We at Golden Corral. Oh, he's somehow probably going somewhere after church. Darius, you went to church. I'm joking. Golden Corral is disgusting. Golden Corral is disgusting. That wasn't no honey butter. It tastes like honey after they everything got mixed in it. Little John John fingernail and everything. Nah, man. Golden Corral is disgusting. I'm telling y'all, even before COVID, I don't do buffets. I guess that's my bougie card. Call it what you want. I'm not eating at no buffet. Oh, what? Eating at a buffet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Uh-uh. No, it's nasty. I'm telling you, we went to Golden Corral the last time we went for um, Tay birthday. And when we went in there and saw one of my aunt's ex-boyfriends cooking, I was like, my whole face was just like, mm-mm, mm-mm. I was like, what's up? Hey. <laughs> I had a whole attitude. I looked just like Tay-Tay when I was there. I was like, mm. <laughs> He ain't cooking my food. Yeah. Right. They told me, just get him to cook it fresh. That don't mean nothing. He's cooking it. <laughs> nothing. <yet. laughs> I got some snacks in my purse. Had a good, you my granola bar. In my bottle of water that I snuck in. I think once you hit 30, it's a lot of once you hit 30, it's a lot of things you can't do no more. And our body, our system can't digest <laughs> go to corral. Just like it can't. Digest McDonald's. I'm trying to tell y'all this right now. It just can't. So if you're not 30 yet, you better hurry up and get what you can get. But I think everybody on here is over 30. So y'all not eating that food. Unless you just, you know, you need you need a cleanse and you want to go that route, then go ahead. <laughs> you will definitely get one. <laughs> All right. Who played rookie in Boys in the Hood? <laughs> All right, let's see if any of them can answer this one. Who is Prince Akeem's silky smooth rival in Coming to America? That's my favorite movie. I can't wait to that one. I know. I'm telling don't nobody better. Don't nobody bother me. I am gonna have my wine and my popcorn. Yep. And I'm gonna have my wine and popcorn, and I'm gonna sit there 
and I don't even don't know kids. Everybody leave me alone. Let me watch Coming to America. No, it wasn't no Arsenio. Arsenio. It wasn't Arsenio. Mm -mm. Semi. It wasn't Semi. Really, Darius. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Um, Y'all want me to read the names? Randy. Yeah, I forgot who it was. Randy Watson, Tommy, Cleo McDowell, or Daryl. Darius, it probably was you. That was you with your uh, sil with your silky perm. <laughs> She's a queen. Exactly. It was Daryl. It was it was Daryl. That was his rival. His name was Daryl. Oh, it was who is Prince Akeem's silky smooth rival? It was Daryl. <laughs> All right, let's see if um, the guys can ask this one, can answer this one. In Paid in Full, where did Ace work while dealing drugs? And I didn't just say the guys because of the question. You got to give, you got to give the, uh, well, the, the girls have already said it, but I'm not going to say the same You got to give the thing. Oh, that's a pizza I shop, remember. the grocery store, dry cleaners, or the laundromat. Okay, Marcus. Okay, okay. Look at you, Greg. Greg, no all this stuff. Greg said my black heart would not be revoked. Y'all got me fucked up. You will not revoke me. It was the cleaners. Oh, Good job. Oh, it was the cleaners. I I like that movie too. If fish don't fry in the kitchen, then I ain't gonna oh. give y'all all of them. I know. So you just gotta finish it. Yeah. The, the next sentence. If fish don't fry in the kitchen, then what else happens? All right, so we moved on from the drug dealer movie, Darius. We now no, you're to... not moving on up, Darius. Nope. What's the next yes, sentence Paris. after that? Yes, Paris. Beans don't burn yes, on the grill. Paris. Yes, okay. You the one to grill, master. I don't know. Don't try it. Please, don't. No. <laughs> She's thinking real hard. Like, I think I'm going to try that. Oh, house be on fire. No, Gina, please don't. Play it back. Play it back. <laughs> <laughs> Rewind the <tape. laughs> It wasn't me. Oh, he said in a pot. You got to put it in the pot on the grill. That's some real like might, down south say. Trina and <laughs> you really is. Like, a pot of it. Is it really a, a Dutch, Dutch oven? oven. Dutch oven. That sound real. Put your pinky in that. What's a Dutch I, oven? I need to Greg, send us a picture. What's a Dutch oven? You can tell we don't. You can tell we really don't cook. All my food go in the air fryer. <laughs> Done. Hi, Shanice. All right, who went double platinum with no features? If anybody into hip hop, who went double platinum with no features? Where Rodney at? We got to wait till it catch up. The question is, who went double platinum with no features? And this is, the, uh, remind you that this people? is, yeah, um, no, it's going to give it away. There you go, Marcus. There you go, oh, Darius. Cole, okay. No, Jay no, it was J. Cole. It was J. Cole. Ronnie always said, he, it's in the song, I think. All right, I don't have to. I don't have to give y'all the answer to this. There are homegirls living in a '90s kind of world. I'm not giving you the options, Greg. 
And you gotta say you have to say their name right. Oh, you gotta say their names on the show, not their names in real life. So they are you have to name the characters, yes. So they are homegirls living in a 90s kind of world. Okay, that's this that it's living single, but who are the characters? It's living single. Regine and Maxine, okay. Mark is like, shit, I can't type this fast. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> talk, 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 the text. talk the text. Like some people be doing me. The craziest two. Yep, it's four of them. Okay, Saint Clair. Saint Clair. Don't be don't be googling this. Yeah. Okay. He said they Khadija. Hello, Arizona Ron. Hi, Arizona Ron. All right, let's see. Um let's do another one. I'm keeping up with the time. You know they be kicking us off. So for those that just joined us, we are playing Black Card Revoke, the second edition. Mm -hmm. Black culture at its finest. All right, this for all y'all old heads. Who was Bruce Leroy's okay. enemy in The Last Dragon? Who was Bruce Leroy's enemy in The Last Dragon? Was it Eddie V, Cyrus, Show Neff, or the Grand Mercy Riffs? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'd be like, I don't want to read them because you get it straight from that. Me either. So my black car revoked because I ain't never even seen the damn movie. Show now. Like, Good like, job. <laughs> she said, here goes Greg typing faster than everybody. <laughs> it was show enough. Yes, it was show enough. All right. Who played Pop? On house party. Oh, you not by yourself, Shawnee's. We didn't know the movie either. Eddie Arcadian. Oh, who are we talking about? Oh, he. We just gonna go with it. Who played Pop on House Party? Bernie Mac, John Witherspoon. Oh. Oh, okay. Who was Pop? Oh, shit. Okay, Marcus. It give it away. Yeah. All right, let's see. Let's see if y'all heathens. Let's let's check on y'all if y'all heathen. We going to church. Which book of the Bible comes after Micah? Did you freeze, Jada? <laughs> she was like. <laughs> All right, come on, y'all now. What book came? What, <laughs> I can't curse. I ain't talking about the Bible. You can't. Goddamn public enemy. <laughs> That's the oh. question. Which book of the Bible comes after Micah? Okay. All right, let me give you some options Ezra, Bartholomew, Zechariah, or Hosea. Come on, Shonda. I know you know this. <laughs> Hi, Belita. All right. Which? Who is Bar oh Bartholomew? You just ain't know how to spell the rest of it. I'm with you. I feel you. <laughs> Who is Nam? Who was Nam? Nam in the back. Who wasn't one of the options? <laughs> I don't know that person. I'm whispering and y'all can't even hear me. I'm like, I don't know that person. <laughs> okay. It, who? All oh, y'all said the same thing. I'm not. We just gonna go with y'all know, and we don't. We don't know what y'all talking about. All right. So it's Zachariah. 
is the answer. Heathen children. All right, let's go back somewhere <laughs> else. Let's go back and see if y'all <laughs> and see if y'all paying attention. His mind is telling him no, but his body, his body is telling him yes. Who is that? And I'm not giving y'all the options because y'all should know. Oh, he said Nam is after Micah. See, we ain't know. But it wasn't. No, they said Zachariah. That's what this call is saying. And that's what I'm going to have after we get off of this. Wait, what the they were, all of them are right. His mind is telling him no, but his body, his body is telling him yes. So all them teenagers get he said, R. Kitty Kelly, don't do it. <laughs> we was just talking about R. Kelly earlier, and it's a lot of R. Kelly's out here still. They just, nobody know about them. I'm still nobody listening to my R. Kelly them. music. I, yep. I still like in the name of love. I had him. He he's in my Spotify playlist. Keep it going. Okay. With so much drama in the LBC, who is it hard to be? Hey. Hey. <laughs> you don't want points for that. Marcus said, I don't want points. <laughs> With so much drama in the LBC, who is it hard to be? And it's not Gina. <laughs> and I'm going to ask another question. What's the LBC? No, you didn't do it right. What? <laughs> it's Snoop Dogg. It is Snoop Dogg. Okay. That's Thank you. Thank you. Snoop Dogg. There you go. That was funny. So what's the LBC? He said, with so much drama in the LBC, what's the LBC? For all y'all want to be Cali folks. Long, Long but oh. crew, really. Long Beach, Cali. Okay. Oh, Let's see. Cool. In in Love Jones, his brother to the night and the blues in your left eye. What? Hold on, let's try this again. What? In Love Jones, he's brother to the night and blues in your left eye. Uh, I, I know. <laughs> no, I can't give you I options. Know. How many people was in Love Jones? It was only two main characters in Love Jones. In Love Jones, he's brother to the night and blues in your left eye. Okay, so I'm guessing who he is. Yes. Okay. So who is he? Is he Bill Bellamy? Is he Isaiah Washington? You know, girl, you made me belch for a sec. You never saw Love Jones. Shanice, we are going to have to have, we're going to have to watch some black shows and drink our wine. We're going to have to have a wine night with Shawnee. <laughs> Shawnee is our, is our, our Black Girls Wine Ambassador out of, are you in Mel, wait, you was Mel, you in Milwaukee, right? If I'm not mistaken. No, no, you're not in Milwaukee. You in Jackson, Mississippi now, I think. I think that's how they see. She was, yeah, she went from Milwaukee to Darius Love Hall. Yes, it was. Look at you. Arizona wrong. She's like, no. <laughs> she said, don't do me like this. She and Jackson. She and Jackson there. What was the professor's name on the park? <laughs> Belita, you know what? We're gonna have to play this. If we, I think we are we supposed to be drinking wine after this? I think so. We, we're gonna be turning on love. Oh, wait, what time is it? It's eight. Okay. We, we got we got a couple minutes. What was the okay. professor's name on the Parkers? Oh, 
<laughs> Don't say Professor Ogilvy. <laughs> what was the professor? What's his first name? Yeah. I know, but what's his first name? What's the professor's name on the Parkers? What's his first name? Stanley. Stanley, yes. So the professor's name on the Parkers is Stanley. Okay. According to Queen B, Queen Bay, Beyonce, what's the best revenge? I bet none of the guys know this. <laughs> what's the best revenge, guys? According to Beyonce. Don't try to be Googling it. They probably like, hey, Google. Let's see. Yes, yes Shani's getting your paper. Yes. Okay. Get your paper. All right. He's the head of the Cash Money Brothers. He's the head of the uh -huh. Cash Money Brothers. Uh -huh. and, it, and I didn't say Cash Money Records. I said Cash Money Brothers. Not cash money records. Oh. We ain't taking them over for the nine nine and the two thousand. <laughs> this particular um genre or whatever is gangster. Gangster. Who is the baby? Oh, baby. No, no, wrong. There you go. Yes, that is the answer. Nino Brown. It was Cash Money Brothers with Nino Brown. Yes. Cash Money Records was 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 the rappers, that's two different things. They said Cash Money Brothers. You never saw, you never saw New Jack City? Who is Slim Williams? I'll be showing my age. All right, what did LL Cool J want his around the way girl to have? What did LL Cool J want his around the way girl to have? He <laughs> said, CMB, we all we got. Yeah. <laughs> oh, see, she said she saw New, York, New Jack City. <laughs> Am I my brother's keeper? Yes, he did ask that. All right, so, so what about LL Cool J? What did he want his around the way girl to have? Almost. And he did not say hoop earrings. He said bamboo earrings. That's two different things. But, but that's not what he, that's not the answer. He starts the beginning, he starts the song off with it. All right, the options is bamboo earrings, extensions in her hair, a Chanel bag, or a big butt. Yeah. Y'all don't remember he said he wanted a girl with extensions in her hair? Bamboo earrings, bamboo at least two pairs. So, so they have extensions in her hair. Uh, uh, y'all didn't know that? Oh, come on, y'all. No, she didn't. He didn't say lollipop. He just saw the lollipop in the video. He, just, he said lollipop, bamboo earrings, and a cute smile. He did not say that. He wasn't thinking about nobody smiling. All right, we're going to do one more. All right, Shawnees, this is for you, girl. If you've never watched these TV shows, you need your Black Harvey book. Good Times, 
The Jeffersons, A Different World in, an, in Living Color. If you've never watched any of those shows, your black card is revoked. If you've never watched Good Times or The Jeffersons or A Different World or In Living Color, you might be, you might have some black in, you might be a little brown, but your black card is revoked. Shawnee, you watch. If you watch three, you got a little bit of brown. If you watch two, you just mix. You, you, you mix. You watched it when your daddy you watch, came over. <laughs> watched all of them. Yeah. 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 Believe it like I'm about to go to TV. Believe it like I'm about to go to TV one right now. <laughs> yes, okay. Yeah. All right, you guys. Well, we have um, finished our game for. Day. And so thank you guys for tuning in with us. Um, we're going to play another game next week to end out Black History Month and doing it for the culture. All of that good stuff. Um, make sure that you tune Bye. in. <laughs> Belita knows how we, we love her. I bet y'all don't know this one. Me and you must have uh, <laughs> like my Belita. <laughs> but yes, yes, yes. Make sure you guys tune in next week. We are going to play another game. We'll go live again next week. So um, just pay attention to the IG. We'll tell you which day we're going live. And yeah, if you're if anyone missed it, you can go back and we'll have the audio posted. One day, soon. <laughs> Always forget, but it will be posted. But yeah, invite your friends next week so they can come out and play with us as well. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. We're going to drink wine today. It's National Drink Wine Day, so make sure that you go out and you get some wine and you drink it. Hurry up! It's eight thirty. I'm going to drink mine. So. Huh? Shawnees. Shawnees. Mm -hmm. She already had that. They probably already finished theirs. We're late. All right, everyone. Thanks for joining. See you next week. Bye. Bye now.